Well hello and welcome to my sad video where I'm going to unpack a Dexter gaming chair and put it together. How exciting is that? So what are you going to need to do this? Well first of all let's look, you might probably need some tools okay so we need some tools okay there must be something in that box somewhere so and you need uh, Pringles are optional and uh, but a coffee is definitely what you need there so yeah I've got a coffee there a bit dark and as you can see by the arrow I've got the coffee pointing the right way up so let's get started we got the box here now we've got to get it open I can't find my Stanley blade knife uh, somewhere so I've just used the Stanley blade here that's all I'll need right so uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along here not going through the box just through the cellophane and then I'm going to get up this one and just run it along there not too deep so it doesn't go into anything like that and then I'm going to run along there like this yeah sorry about that that was just a bit of a joke there of course I didn't hurt myself at all I'm, all, I'm fine I'm fine okay so now we've got the box open ish I believe this is what you'll see inside here and we'll open it up there and there we have it and here is the instruction manual I uh, don't know whether we'll be using that or not uh, probably not I usually like to guess okay that's silica right the silica okay yeah important here's a bag of stuff I bet that's there you go this is a bag of the old the old bolts okay so we need that put that over there hello 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 we've got some armrests here okay so there we've got some armrests they feel metal they're metal at least at least they feel metal not sure whether they are put them down and here's the other stuff right and we've got something here and this is the bottom bit and the look of it what I'll do is I'll take them all out of the box and set them on the floor so we know we got all the gear okay okay so I've unpacked everything out of the box and taken it out of the cardboard or plastic or whatever except the wheels and obviously the bolts and the nuts or whatever so now we've got to see that everything's here correctly so you can use this sheet to go on and just go through them so let's see uh, one caster times five that would be them there's five there uh, base that's this one one of course the gas lift that would be this gas lift covers here three of them uh, seat plate this one here uh, six is the backrest which is which is this one down and below here underneath so that's there yes and the seat which is this one is here and then armrest times two and by the way these aren't metal by the way these are plastic do they make anything metal nowadays I don't know I guess that's metal maybe probably is okay so another important thing that you must have while it's just before you start this is your coffee of course keep your coffee coming and of course the remote for the camera of course right okay don't drink while you're doing this could be dangerous okay no no drinking any alcohol okay moving on to the next bit okay moving on I've opened this bag up here of all the screws and if you look at your instruction sheet in here it'll show you what you're looking for okay so we need to find 22 whatever millimeters for the so as far as I'm concerned that's eight covers eight fat screws and four skinnier screws that's the way I like to call it and an allen key so you don't need any tools but an allen key so that's pretty handy okay so let's move on to step number one okay so here we are at the first step and it wants us to put the uh, push all the, or push all the five casters into the underside of the base this is the base so we turn it around and it says make sure you hear a click so they're firmly inseated in there 
Okay, so here we go. Push down. I guess that's in there. Peeled. In there. Some of them seem to be a bit stiffer than others. And they're all going in. Okay. Wee okay, I'm off down the down the town. No, no, I'm not. No, we're, we've got to stay here and finish this first anyway. Okay, step two. All the wheels seem to be on and everything. So it says it wants us to fit the gas. And this it says, yep, put the gas lift cover on and then your gas lift. Okay, so the gas lift goes on. It says it goes on like this, just like that, and set the covers on. And it looks to me like they're going the opposite direction. In other words, one goes on like that, one goes, no, no, no. Oh, this could be a bit of a mucker thing. I think it was right the first time, like so. I think that's it. Is that it? Hey, doctor, is that it? I think it's it. Right, so as you can see, okay, yeah, you can see that, right. So that's fitted on the way it should be. Okay, so let's move on to step two. This was step one. Now we're moving on to step two. And this is the seat. It says fit the seat cushion. Fitting the seat cushion, okay, to fix the seat plate. One, two, seat number seven, which is this. Use bolts number uh, letter A, which are the thinner bolts. And there's a diagram, if uh, you can see there. Diagram looks fairly simple. Just make sure, I suppose, that you've got this uh, position the way it's got the position there. Presumably this is the front of the cushion. So this is the front of the cushion, and that's the way it sort of goes there, like this, hopefully. And surprise, surprise, look, the holes do line up. Amazing. So I'm going to put one in there. One in there. Hey, so far so good. Yeah, you haven't finished yet. Yeah, you're right. Right, I'm not going to show you how I tighten these all up. I'll tighten them all up and make them snug, not overly tight, just snug. Okay, uh, so yeah, we'll get back to it when I've done that. Okay, so there you go. Um, that's the that's the front of the seat here. It says front here, obviously, and that's the way it goes on. Okay, so I tightened these all down using the Allen key provided. I tightened them all down, sort of just sort of snug, and then I sort of tighten them up diagonally like that. Okay, that's just the way I do it. Okay, the next step is to fit the armrests onto the seat uh, bottom. So yeah, that's if that's the that's the top. This is the, one of the arms here. Move it around. It says do not fully tighten these screws at the moment. Okay, and use the. It says it says use the. Uh, the beef, the beef, the beef, the yeah, use the fix and so. Yeah, good God, man. Yeah. B. And the two bolts to choose from, and I can't choose them properly. Okay, so here we have it. Oh, yeah. That one goes in there. I think I'm going to use the Allen key just to start that one. And then it started just there. It says don't tighten these ones all up. Just put them in. So far it's not too bad actually. Okay, so yeah. If we can sort of move around. I'll move on to the next bit so we've got these snug. Okay, there we go. I've got the uh, bolts in. I've put them on loose, as they suggested at the moment. And now they say they want us to... Uh, hey, yeah, this ain't really, really difficult, man. Oh. Fitting the backrest. Flip the arm rest up and use bolts B to fix the armrest. Okay, so yeah, we want to fix the armrest. So yes, the backrest of the seat. So let's see what we've got here. And there seems to be, there's two bolts on there. Okay, to, just to say, it's got two screws in the back, two screws, two holes at the side of the chair. Two holes at the side of the chair. And you were looking for the other hole. It's actually under the rest right here. Okay, so you're gonna pull it up and then you'll find it. 
okay so yeah I also I used a uh, flashlight to be able to see where the holes lined up you know, I just shone the flashlight down through so I could see where the holes lined up very complicated this chair thing isn't it I'll get back to you when I've got them started okay so I've got the uh, one screw in each of each side here and now I'm going to just move the armrest up on one side tilt it up and let's see if that can angle up on and be the right place so far I haven't seen any damage to this chair but I want to check that so it looks to me like I might have got that one started I hope and let's see seems to be says it started but it keeps on coming out okay just to be aware that I had a bit of trouble finding these uh, getting these ones started in here just be careful because the uh, threads are not exactly really hard and you can tend to damage the threads uh, trying to get them in and if you cross thread them then that would be really big news so I've, I've finally got them in just uh, don't try and force them that's all okay let's move on to the next bit okay the next bit is to go around and fully fasten these uh, screws I wouldn't really over tight them but really nice and snug is the word I think on that one okay so the last thing is to uh, just plunk the seat on top of the uh, unit there let's have a look here how easy is that going to be like that apparently right shall we give it a shot hmm okay so the arms do move back and forth um, things seem to be fairly tight and uh, I'll give you a better look at it obviously in a minute okay so there it is let's have a look let's just uh, oh okay just to let you know that this seat apart from my other seat that I had this one actually does make you sit forward which is good instead of having to uh, move forward like this for on the PC or whatever so yeah okay it swivels all right let's just check it out and see if it works okay okay Edson warp factor six yeah, seems to work okay. Now, gas shock. Does it work? Okay, that's up. That's down. Okay, everything seems to work all right. And does it spin? <laughs> See ya! Might just do this all night. <laughs>